In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a disintegrating text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe After Effects and you have a brand new composition created, you first just want to begin by creating a new text layer. So we'll go to the horizontal type tool and we'll just type out a word of your choice. Now, if you go to the character window, you can change the font, you can change the size of this. You can change the color, it's completely up to you. But once you're happy with the look of this, you just want to place this in the center of your composition. Now from here, you want to go into effects and presets and we're going to search for CC Scatterize. And that should be in the simulation folder. We'll drop that onto our text. And as you can see in the effect controls tab up here on the left, if I increase the scatter, we're basically getting that effect completed for us straight away. But we need to go ahead and add some keyframe animation and play with the right twist, left twist and the transfer mode to make this look amazing. So we'll begin with the scatter. So we'll go to the very beginning of our composition at zero seconds. We'll create a brand new keyframe on scatter. That should be at zero. Then we'll go roughly to the five second mark and we'll pull this all the way up to around, let's go for around 300%. So it's starting to come towards the camera. Now, as you can see, that does look good, but it's just a little bit too slow. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the effects, CC Scatterize, and I feel like it's just a bit too slow here. And then up here, it's roughly the speed it needs to be. So I'm just going to go halfway through that action. I'm going to create a brand new keyframe on the scatter, and I'm going to pull that keyframe closer to the first one. So essentially, it's saying what should have took three, two seconds to get to here is now going to take only one second. So if we play this back, you can see that feels a lot more vicious. There's more of an explosion there. Now that looks great, but the problem is it's suddenly a quick motion here. So it's quite an aggressive movement and then it becomes really slow and it sort of happens all of a sudden. So I'm just going to pull this third keyframe closer to the second one and that should help to blend that out a bit. There we go. That looks good. Now from here, we can go into the right twist and the left twist. So if we do this at zero, this is how it affects the text which obviously we don't want the same thing for the left twist. It's going to twist the left and the right side, but it is nice to add that into the disintegration effect once it's actually started to happen. So we'll go somewhere around here. So maybe four or five keyframes in, we'll create a new keyframe on right twist and left twist at zero. Then we'll go towards the end of the motion and we'll pull this around. We'll pull both around a little bit. And when we play this back, you can see that just adds more interest into this effect. Of course, though, we can't really see it past this point. So we're going to go a few frames after these first frames and I'm going to really crank this around so we can see that effect. As you can see, that was a bit aggressive. So I'm just going to pull these first keyframes back up to the beginning. And that looks really good. You can see this one twisting around and that kind of motivates that disintegration effect. So from here, we need to transition out. So of course you can just keep turning up the scatter amount and it will eventually disappear. But the problem is I find it's just gonna take forever to get to that point. So roughly a few seconds in, around two seconds in, we'll go to the opacity, so that is T. Create brand new keyframe at 100%, then we'll go two seconds past that point, so around four seconds, and we'll pull that down to zero. You may wanna go back into the effects and make sure that your keyframes are lining up. So as you can see, unfortunately, we faded down to zero, but the action has stopped here. So we're just gonna pull those keyframes over to the right. And there you go. Once you've faded that text out using the opacity keyframes, you have now successfully completed the disintegrating text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. Once you've animated the opacity and faded that out, you have now successfully completed the disintegration text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. So thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.